Today, Madison County hosted an economic development day where state and local leaders all came out to see what Madison County has to offer in industry, aviation, and other areas. August is hot, and so are the savings at Appalachian Wireless, where all smartphones are 50% off. Even the 64, 128, and 256 gig models. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. WBON-TV is here at the Central Kentucky Regional Airport, where we heard a presentation about the need for expansion that will be coming to this area. We're ready for business. Great overhead shot of our plan. Um, again, the terminal building, uh, three new T-hangers, one of which an RFP for one of the 10 unit T-hangers is going out today. We're hoping to get construction started on that later in the year. We're planning on financing that with an interim bridge loan for the bonding, but when we get it built, obviously that will be revenue producing and additional plane locations here. Again, as I mentioned, we got 30 planes. Uh, ready to come here if we got space for them. Fabulous story with this aviation program at EKU. I mean, really. And why it's so interesting is that it works perfectly well with where the, the major economic opportunity is for the state. I want you to think about Silicon Valley for a moment. Silicon Valley has, for various reasons, has realized this cluster of technology, right? And everyone points to Silicon Valley and says, we want to be the next Silicon Valley in this particular industry, whatever it might be. And most people who say that have no chance of actually being successful in that, right? Because Silicon Valley, what, what made that what it is today is some combination of just good fortune and serendipity and, and lots of other things. But to recreate that today is probably not a realistic expectation. I will tell you that there will probably never be the same concentration of air cargo facilities anywhere in the world than what we have here in the state. We are already number two in, in, in a per capita basis for air cargo with DHL and UPS. Amazon obviously with their primary facility, is going to change that dynamic, dynamic radically. Okay, so think about that. We're already number two before Amazon starts operations in the next two years. So you've got that major economic driver of, of all of these businesses that will co-locate in and around us and will need to have experienced people, not only pilots, but all the support personnel that, that makes these air operations run. That's one major issue. The second thing is, we are number four in the U.S. in upstream metal production. So if you think about what we produce in stainless steel and aluminum, obviously some of the ingots are produced here locally. That obviously feeds into three types of aluminum that feed into aerospace and automotive applications. So we've got this opportunity now to sort of leverage the fact that we're already number two nationally in aerospace exports. We're only behind Washington State. We exported almost $11 billion worth of product last year, okay? That's almost four times larger than the second category, which is automotive. So it's a major driver of this state's economy. And if you think about how it all sort of fits together, right? We've got the metal production that can help increase the amount of aerospace production that happens. You've got EKU feeding this sort of vertical with talented people in various different capacities. The, the most successful businesses in today's economy want to tell a good story. A story that resonates and makes sense, and, and, and can, you can validate it with objective data that says this is why we have this advantage, and we have that here in this county. So I'm, I'm very encouraged. We were told that at the moment there's no room for any more planes, and there's actually a long waiting list in order to get more planes to this area. Also, EKU's aviation department, which is one of the top in the country, is having to turn students away because they need these upgrades. For WBON TV here in Richmond, I'm Marissa Hempel.